Hello viewers and welcome to the second ever Grandmaster Quest release, January 11th of 2010. It is now January 12th of 2010. I'm going to try and do this. Level 138s have died during this quest um, because it's, it's not so much the first part of the quest, it's the final boss that's the killer. Literally, this is Nomad's Requiem. I can start this quest by talking to Zimberfizz at Soul Wars. I can get there by using the portal in Edgeville. To start this quest, I need to have completed King's Ransom Camelot training room. I also need the following skills. 75 magic, 70 prayer, 66 mining, 65 hunter, and uh, 60 construction. In addition, I must have done completed the Soul Wars tutorial and completed a Soul Wars battle. It doesn't really matter if you win or you lose, okay? All you have to do is um, just go to wor World Hop to a Soul Wars world and it doesn't, you know, you, you can go into a, a battle that's almost done so long as you can, you know, you're in it. So where the quest start is for those of you who do not know where this is you see right here yeah that's this is about where the dude's wandering how you get there is right here just from Edgeville right here there you go uh, it's recommended to have 85 plus stats unless you're good at combat. I don't, but I'm suicidal, so I'm going to try it anyway. Uh, you're going to need a pickaxe. That's gotten on the quest. Runes for... Some people are going to try and tell you any fire spell. Nuh-uh. You need it for fire wave. Hence the magic. You're going to need good armor and good food. I would suggest having things like um, dehyde of any type, like black or above if you can. And... yeah. Uh, do not bring Barrow's equipment, because if Nomad kills you, which he probably will, he, it's going to degrade to zero right away, even if you had it at 100%. Okay? Recommended is Sarah Brews and Super Restores. If you cannot get those, then Rocktail you're also going to need for... You do not need this for the beginning part, unless you're an idiot. You are going to need for the final boss, you are going to need something that... A healing familiar... If you can only do terror birds, do terror birds, but try and aim for pack yaks if you can do them. If not, go for war tortoises, okay? You are also recommended to have full proselyte to extend your prayer. I really don't care about that. Um, instead of for prayer, I'm using a holy book. Obviously, if you want a abyssal whip. Uh, Ruby bolts enchanted. I recommend having over 200 of them because it's helpful to use them on both bosses. Uh, something to restore your run for the beginning part. Don't worry, Barrow's gloves are kept on death. Well, I don't know. Well, they, they don't completely poof and disappear. Obviously the crossbow, and you may want to bring some other bolts with you for when um, it's not sufficient to use ruby on them anymore. In a range pot if your range isn't that high. For the first part, I'm going to be bringing the spells, the crossbow, armor, bolts, ranging potions, some prayer pots, and some rock tails. I'll cover prepping for Nomad because what I'm going to do, okay, what you should do, um, you know, unless you're an idiot, is do the first part and then when you're about to fight Nomad, go back, prep again. Okay? Okay. That should cover everything, so let us speak to Zimberfiz. Choose yes. So investigate his tent.
talk to Nomad. I'm no assassin. Search the adventurer's equipment. The only thing you're going to need is the pickaxe. Go back upstairs and speak to Zimphis. About Nomad's Requiem. So now let's head over to the southwest room. There's a ladder to the southeast. We need to go up it. Protect from melee is going to help you against these guys. Pull each of the levers you see. On the east wall you're going to find some rubble. Mine it. In the northeast, go up the ladder. Push both pillars to cover the drains. Go down to the middle room again and make sure the water is flowing. So make sure it's flowing to the south. If it is not, pull the levers till it does. There we go, just like this, see? Go down to the bottom room. Now we need to move the statues. Until everything is going towards this machine. Pay attention to what's on the top of the statues. That's going to help how you do this, okay? We're trying to get this one right here to this part right here, okay? No, I should really try trapping these guys. Apparently you can trap them to the north of the room. I'll try that in just a sec. There we go. Now I don't need to use prayers anymore. Woohoo!
Next we want one of these crosses to go right up there.